Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and in today's video we're going to talk about DNS leaks that can occur when using VPNs. So if you are unfamiliar with this topic, I will be exploring what DNS leaks are, demonstrating how to detect them, and teaching you how to fix them. Also if at any point, like to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. But before we dive into this topic of DNS leaks, it's important to understand what DNS is. DNS, which stands for Domain Name System, is a system that matches domain names with their corresponding IP addresses. For example, typing vpnbrains.com into your browser will prompt a DNS server to request the unique IP address associated with that domain name. And without a VPN, your internet service provider ISP will be able to see all websites you visit via their own DNS servers. But using a VPN reroutes your internet traffic through a VPN server as your ISP will not have access to this information. Yes, in some cases, a DNS leak can occur causing your system to default back to the ISP's DNS server despite using a VPN. DNS leaks occur when your VPN is improperly configured or the service is unreliable. In some cases, the VPN may not have its own DNS servers. These situations can cause your connection to be exposed outside of the secure VPN tunnel, risking the exposure of your private data. To mitigate this risk, many reputable VPNs now include DNS leak protection. To give an example, ExpressVPN can prevent any uninterrupted queries from going outside of its VPN tunnel. So if you're looking for a secure VPN that can protect you from DNS leaks, consider using ExpressVPN. But it's super important to note that even if you decide to use ExpressVPN, you should still check for DNS leaks. And this can easily be done by using a DNS leak test tool provided by your VPN provider or through websites such as ipleak.net or dnsleaktest.com. These websites are almost identical to the functionalities and you can use them to check if your original IP is still being used. My personal preference is dnsleak.com as they are more reliable. So to ensure that your internet connection is secure, even when using a VPN, it's important to check for DNS leaks. After connecting to a different server using your VPN, use the same website to test your VPN. VPN connection. If the IP and location displayed on the website are completely different from your original ones, then your connection is secure. But if they're not, it means you have a DNS leak. And to solve this issue, there are different solutions depending on the case. Sometimes simply reconnecting or choosing a different VPN server will fix the problem. But in other cases, it may be necessary to clean your cache and browser cookies, which may contain information about your previous connections. With that being said, to reduce the frequency of DNS leaks, it's important to use a reliable VPN provider with a strong focus on security. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark are all reputable virtual private network services that offer a variety of features to help protect users' online privacy and security. One of the critical features that these VPN services provide is protection against DNS leaks. While they all have built-in protection against DNS leaks, they use their own DNS servers to implement lots of measures to ensure that all DNS requests are rooted through their VPN tunnels, preventing any leaks. On top of that, they offer features like a kill switch, which can automatically disconnect a user's internet connection if their VPN connection drops, ensuring that no data is leaked. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. Finally, like and subscribe. If you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.